Hey and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. And today is another Mission Builders series video. And it's based on the premise of a question that was asked in the DCS Discord. Which is, how can I get a, a ground vehicle to stop moving uh, at my request as a pilot? Let me just say that, you know, you're doing a reconnaissance type scenario. Uh, and you want the main convoy to stop moving until you've cleared the sector ahead. Well, basically, I'll show you how I set that up within the DCS Mission Editor. So, let me show you how I did it. Okay, so first things first, what's the actual map setup? Well, I've got the SU-25T there, which is obviously a client slot. And then I've got a ground vehicle, which is basically one of the the new 4x4s. And basically, what I want to happen is, I want to be able to fly this aircraft, pass a radio message to this vehicle, so that when it's travelling, I can get it to stop. At the same time, I also want the radio message available to me to start them moving again. And that was quite easily set up through the triggers. So let me take you through that now. And here we are in the trigger screen. I only needed three triggers to set this particular scenario up. The first being to add a radio item. So basically this adds a radio item to the F10 menu. And I've added it for a particular group, which was obviously for the aircraft here. So it's for Group Aerial 1. I've named it Ground Unit Stop. I've given it the flag of 1 with a value of 1. So that will get the unit to stop when I select it from the F10 menu. The second radio item that I've added is again radio item add for group, Aerial 1, Ground Unit Go. And this time the flag is 2 with a value of 1. So that's the first setting. So that's your radio menus that will appear in the F10 drop down menu. Now, the next one I set up is a, a switch condition so that when flag 1 is true, it will turn flag 2 off and it will push a task on the particular vehicle, which is the ground unit hold. So if we look at the actual ground unit itself, you will see that I set up um, an advanced waypoint scenario that can be triggered via the mission editor. So let's have a look at that. So it was a performed task. I selected hold. The stop condition is two. Now, the reason why I gave it a stop condition, if I want the radio menu to work for stopping and starting the column, I need something to stop the trigger. So the hold action stops when flag two is activated. Let's go back to the triggers. And the second switch condition is GU go, which is ground unit go. The condition is when flag two is true, I simply turn flag one off. Remember flag one activated the stop command. So turning flag one off switches. Hence the switch condition. Now it's that simple to set up. Three triggers means that this pilot flying this aircraft can tell that unit to stop and go at will, repeatedly throughout the mission. So let me show you that working in the mission. Okay, so now we're in the mission. I'm in my trusty SU-25T and I'm going to unpause it. Active pause. Down below is the convoy, or the, the, the vehicle, that's moving along the road. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check my menus. So the first one, F10 menu. Now the unit is already moving, so let's have a look at that now. Now then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my menu. I'm going to select other, and I'm going to select ground unit stop. And there we go. If I want to do it again, I select my menu, go into the other, ground unit go, and the vehicle will start again. 
Let's repeat the process just to check that it's working. Ground unit stop. And there you have it. That's how simple it is to set this up. But there you have it in a nutshell. Very easy to do, very easy to set up. And a simple solution for telling ground units to stop whilst you're escorting them and doing a forward recon on an aircraft. So I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it informative. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch you later. So take care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.